when you start doing anything, the first step, you're excited. You're pumped up. You're going to be consumed with that thing you're doing. But a week into it, a month into it, a year into it, five years into it, many people begin to lose that fire. They get exhausted. They don't care anymore. They stop trying. So they stop the daily tasks to move toward the goal and they settle. They settle for, I guess it wasn't meant to be. They settle for, I guess I didn't want to. They settle for the easy road. They settle for mediocrity. They give up and they let it go. But I'm saying, no, you cannot be like that. You can't allow your dreams and goals to slip by like that. You must stay focused. Don't allow anything to pull you off your game plan. If you don't finally get your focus in check, if you keep wandering around distracted, if you keep looking at every new thing that pops up in your feed, if you keep trying every single new opportunity, if you keep saying yes to everything, if you keep listening to everybody's complaints, if you keep doing whatever they ask you to do, at some point, you will lose your life. You must reclaim your attention and limit it down to the very few things you care about the most. Cut off anything else that doesn't support you. Embed that long-term goal in your mind. Burn it into your soul. Think about it. Write about it. Talk about it. Hang it up on your wall. But most importantly, do something about it every single day. Start working a plan to get where you want to go and minimize everything else. Getting very clear on the mission and working the plan. Everything else, guess what it gets? A no! You tune out every voice and noise outside of yourself and you lock your focus on this one thing and you give it everything you've got. What is it that you need to immediately stop doing in your life to take back control of your time? Is it social media? Is it watching seven seasons of a show every week? And what do you need to start doing? What do you need to start doing every day, every week, every month, every year to be the best version of you? Because whatever you spend your time on is what determines the outcomes of your life. Disciplining yourself buys you freedom to do what you want. Sacrifice leads and gains follow. Don't bother looking for any gains when you haven't made sacrifices. You gotta give stuff up in order to go up. So the question is, what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to skip the parties, cut out the socializing, pass on doing the cool thing on the weekend with your friends? Cause that's what it's gonna take! It's gonna take you dedicating every single moment, every single ounce of energy and effort you have to pull it off! Forget about balance! You have to be obsessed with the thing you want and don't allow anything to pull you away from it. If you really wanna win, pack your calendar! Because everything is based off of activity. The more you execute, the more results you will see. You break away from the pack by doing more than other people are willing to. It's impossible for you to lose if you pack your calendar with tasks to be done. Every single king day of the month, morning till night. You do that year after year after year, and you will undoubtedly become one of the greatest in whatever the f*** you want to do. A champion focuses only on the goal. They don't allow anything else into their mind that won't help them win. And so if you want to be a winner, what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day has to change. What you're watching, what you're reading, what you're listening to, the conversations you're having. You must now be fully focused on your dreams and your goals. And it all starts with what you're doing today. Not tomorrow, not next week, today. When you're great, you don't just focus on a year. When you're great, you don't just focus on a month. When you're great, you don't just focus on a week. You focus on the 24 hours in front of you and and you work relentlessly to nail it. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep that eye single, Learning how to concentrate. Learning how to focus in. Deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills. You'll be surprised of the ideas that will come to you. Of the people that you'll be able to attract. Of the opportunities that you'll be able to see. You'll begin to see things that have been staying there looking you in the face saying, I can't believe this has been here all this time. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing instead of executing on your own opportunities, 
You are setting yourself up to fail time and time again. And this goes against what society is, right? Society is all about gossip. It's all about talk. It's all about who's doing what. And it's never about worrying about what you're doing. Go to a fucking bar. What's everybody talk about? What their company's doing, what their boss is doing, what their coworkers are doing, what their aunt's doing, what their mom's doing, what their dad's doing. Nobody fucking cares and it doesn't fucking matter. That's why you don't see successful people hanging out with people like that. Because they worry about their own sh they worry about their own actions, they worry about what they execute on, and they worry about how they can get better at it. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, so you've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding. Keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself. Whatever your hand find to do, execute, execute, execute. You gotta learn to kill the noise. Who cares what they say? Dominance. Who cares what they think? Dominance. You wanna kill haters? You wanna shut them down? You wanna kill noise? Nothing succeeds like success. No coach, no trainer, no boss can do it. You versus you. Decide that you're going to push yourself. You have something that you brought to the universe. And that if you decide that my life deserves my developing, this is what I do well. And becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. Never, ever allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your ass off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, popping bottles with models and all that shit. That ain't for me. I'm gonna be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. Change the way you see yourself and begin to tend to the personal details. Understand that nobody's gonna take care of your business better than you. You got to work on yourself. You got to develop yourself. You got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. Stay focused, don't listen to nobody. What's on your mind, just do it. Because what's destined for you, you're going to get it. As you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents and your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny. There's no limitations. There's no excuses. Just so that quickly. It's not about winning or losing. It's about the whole process. And you get so caught up in the outcomes of everything you do that you forget what it's all about. It is practicing. It is eating right. It is training. It is putting in more reps than everyone else. It is grinding longer and getting up earlier than your competitors. Win or lose. You give every single day everything you have. You leave nothing on the table. It is that process that shapes you and forms you into a beast. And why so many of you lose is because you think grinding is what you do when the lights are on and it's game time. You think it's what you do when the sun comes up and everyone's eyes are on you. That's not the real grind. The real grind is what you do when nobody's watching, when nobody sees you, when you're running those extra miles, when you're doing those extra reps, when you're pushing yourself to do more than anybody expects of you. It is that level of effort that forms your greatness. When you can force yourself to do shit that sucks every day of your life, you build mental toughness. When the alarm goes off in the morning, you get your up. When you have a deadline for a project to be done, you make sure you get it done. When you know you gotta study, you start studying. That's how you callous your mind. It's gonna be painful, it's gonna be hard, but at the end of all your suffering is the life you want. Embrace the suffering. No one's coming to help you, it's you against you, period. The water's too cold, the sun's too hot, I'm getting up too early, why am I doing this to myself? That's what the normal mind says. You gotta start training your mind to think about how the f can get through this. Not giving yourself a way out. Creating a wall around all the f*** out in your mind. 
So then your mind knows this is not going to give himself a way out of here. Your new norm becomes getting up every damn morning at 4, 5, 6 o'clock, and you suffer. You allow that to become your new lifestyle. Most people try to get away from that. They want the comfort, but you got to separate yourself from the pack. You have to tell your brain, this is your new life. This is who you are. Your new norm is you wake up and you suffer. When you do this consistently and it becomes your mentality, the sh that used to be hard becomes easy. You must retrain your mind to think differently when you're in hell. When something sucks, good. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna strengthen my mind. And it's gonna lead to rare achievements. So bring it. When you get to that point, that's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Use the time you have right now to strengthen your brain. Push yourself to do hard shit. Come out the other side of that challenge as a beast. You gotta start thinking to yourself, I'm the grittiest mother in the world. And I don't need shit to get this done. All I need is the ability to grind my ass off. Greatness is not something that you have to meet once. It's something that you gotta meet thousands of times in your life. But you don't reach it if you're not continuously in constant pursuit of greatness. Kobe Bryant never sat there and bragged about how many championships he won. No, he was always up at 3 o'clock in the morning, practicing every day. Why do you think he was so great? It's not just genetics or talent, it's his ability to force himself to execute, no matter what's going on. So right now, this is the time to work. You better take the short time you have now and be the best that you can be. No more waiting, no more procrastinating, no more excuses. We're gonna work! Because when you put in the work, you always get the same consequences. You get paid, you get rewarded. People have this reoccurring nightmare that there's some thing, some force that's got a hold of them and it's holding them down and they can't break free no matter what they do, they can't break free from that force. Well, I'm here to tell you that that thing in your nightmare, that thing that's holding you back, that thing that's dragging you down, that thing is you. There are two fundamental attitudes toward life and its sorrows. Those with the first attitude blame the world. Those with the second ask what they could do differently. It's much easier and much more gratifying to your basest desires to blame someone else for your misery. You know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. And that's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts. No, we working out now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. Every day I demand more from myself than anybody else could humanly expect. I'm not competing with somebody else, I'm competing with what I'm capable of. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I value myself enough to give 120% or don't do it. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. You walk out of this room, you owe yourself. I didn't get here making excuses. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day to become a victor and not a victim. Why? Because I owe it to myself. Can't nobody stop me but me. Life is going to beat you to the ground. Life will break you. Just when you think you've been through the most hell you'll ever face, it'll hit you even harder. And you'll think about quitting every single day. I know what it's like to wake up every day with a sense of dread and you don't know how you're gonna make it and you're all alone and you've got to say to yourself when you fail again and again after facing rejection after rejection many times with tears in your eyes it's possible when life knocks you down sometimes you got to take two steps back in order to move forward when you're in that darkness 
It's very easy to think you're hopeless. It's very easy to believe it's over for you. It's very easy to feel defeated. It's very easy to sit there and hope that something or someone will come and save you. But the truth is, you gotta save yourself. You can't sit there and wait for the light to come. You've gotta move forward and step your way into the light. That darkness is temporary and you can fight your way out of it. It only takes willpower. You think this is it for you? This is far from it. You gotta change your mindset. You gotta start thinking in ways you haven't thought before. You gotta start seeing possibilities for your life you haven't seen before. You can achieve more than you think you can. You're capable of things that would surprise yourself. You've gotta start using your mind to find new ways to break through all these roadblocks in front of you. When you have the will, you'll find a way. And there is always a way. You can get through whatever is in front of you if you decide to. You just gotta stand for what you believe in and don't let anything turn you around. This is your life, this is your dream. Nobody's gonna fight for what you want more than you. If it's gonna happen, it's up to you to make it happen. If you can focus on finding those ways to win and stop focusing on the ways you're losing, you can make it. Everything in your way is just life testing you. Do not fail the test. Rise up and destroy these barriers. The people who win, the most common trait they have is they find solutions, while the losers find problems. The winners are relentlessly working to move their lives into a better state of being. They don't care about the facts. They don't care about the odds. All they do is make a plan and execute the plan. If you change your way of thinking and start seeing the possibilities for you and your current situation, you'll start moving toward victory and away from feeling helpless. But you have got to affirm to yourself that you have what it takes to get through this. Your mind and spirit need to be aligned in the feeling of certainty that I will not stop until I succeed. I will make it happen, no matter what it takes, that this is nothing but a temporary inconvenience. There is nothing that can stop me from reaching my dream. Most people won't do that. Most people give up so easily. They never use the real power inside them to do anything great because they can't see those possibilities for their life. Your vision and your perspective of how you see your life is what dictates what you become. If you only ever see yourself as doing just enough to get by, that's all you'll ever achieve. But if you see yourself doing massive things living beyond what other people could possibly conceive, that's exactly what you'll get. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. So when you're going through turbulence on your path to success, you've got to hold that vision firmly in your mind. Don't allow this negative world to throw you off course. Hold the vision and keep walking toward it. Your mind is your strongest weapon. It has the ability to adapt to any level of pain or difficulty imaginable. It's up to you to harness its power and use it to create new things for you. You can become more creative, more intelligent, more unstoppable. It's only a matter of your mind. You control your mind, you control your life. And when you control your mind, there is nothing out of reach for you. You can be, do, and have whatever you want. The only one who can stop you is you. Some of you have had a marriage fall apart. Some of you have been disappointed in a dream, in a desire, in a goal, in an ambition. And things just haven't worked out the way you wanted them to. And you're starting maybe to feel sometimes a little hopeless. It'll never change. I'll never change. Nothing's ever gonna be any different. And we rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop. That's why a bunch of us give up so much in life so quickly. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. If you don't control pain, it'll control you. What is it? That will make it worth it for you to face the rejections, to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I got some more stuff in me. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it that will make it for you when you want to give up and things are working against you? What is it? I will help you get back up again. When everything is relaxed 
and peaceful. Yes, we know what we want to be. We know the person we want to become, right? It's very easy to calculate it in that rhyme to reason when nothing's on the line. But as soon as the heart starts to race, or the bill and the pressure of the lifestyle, the, the wife, the family, or the job, all of a sudden, oh, we start to settle. I don't want to be that person that's great when everything is going all good, but when something goes wrong, they flee and they want nothing to do with it. I want to be that person that's going to show up rain, sleet, or snow, and they're going to give you everything they got. You got to take my life before you take my drive. I'm talking concrete commitment. I'm talking a commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the mood that I've set it in has left. Because character is not something we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day, we got to fight and we got to build it. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of failures, we got to get up every single day and we got to fight for peace. We got to fight for happiness. We got to fight for joy. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't be a victim. Don't take the easy path. Don't squander this life. Instead, live with fortitude. There's times where you think, is there anything that can justify as to why I'm always going through something all? Sometimes nothing ever makes sense that you're going through. I'm going through hurt, I'm going through pain, there's death in my family, there's sickness everywhere. But I tell you what, you can't throw in the time. It just means it's time for you to fight hard. It's time for you to stand tall. Lift your heads to the sky and say, I will overcome this. I will fight back. There's always something good that can come from bad. We live in a world, ladies and gentlemen, where people want instant gratification. They want it right now. No, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's a system that if you work the system, it works if you work it. But make no mistake about it, it's hard. And you are the determining factor. The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's you that you must take personal responsibility to make it happen. It's hard. No easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. If people ask you, say, how are you doing? Even if you're having some difficult times, say, I'm blessed and highly favored. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, it's achieving more, it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, it's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. How strong is your movement? What time do you wake up in the morning? What time do you go to sleep? And how much time do you waste throughout the day? The plan, the idea, the thought doesn't matter. If you want to win, you have to execute. So what are you doing with your time? Are you doing something productive? Are you moving towards a goal? Making yourself better? Or are you letting time slip by, wasted? Consuming garbage with no purpose and no point. Stop wasting time and get after it. It's little decisions that put you on the right path. Are you working out today or sleeping in? Are you studying today or wasting time? Are you making yourself better today or slacking off? When you make your decision, make the right decision. What would happen to your life if you decided to stop counting the costs? If you started doing whatever is required? If you stopped holding yourself back? What could you be? If you worked as hard as you could, what could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? I say you crank up the volume on that voice. Crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. And then go get some. You got to get to the point where you don't care how it feels. You don't care whether you want to do it, whether you don't want to do it, whether it's easy, whether it's hard. None of that sh matters. All that matters is that you get it done every single day. You do whatever it takes. So if you're running 30 miles a week, run 33. If you're swimming 500 meters, swim 550. If some of you aren't doing sh you're 10%, just get off the f***ing couch. The more you walk away from accountability, the weaker you become, find yourself in the grip of life. 
You can't find yourself by doing nothing. When you get to that point, it's not just a mindset. It becomes a fucking lifestyle. You become an unstoppable discipline machine and you create a life of greatness. That's why I'm successful. I got that dog. After 20 years of doing it, I still got that dog. And with that dog, I execute sharks and hundreds and predators. They never stop swimming. In fact, if a shark stops swimming, it will die. If a shark goes backwards, it will die. Think like a shark, act like a shark, and behave like a shark. In order for you to rise up, you better take your game to the next level. Your mindset needs to go to the next level. Your information needs to go to the next level. I'm going to think. I'm going to execute, and I'm going to win. I'm going to execute what I've been trained to do. And that's how you get to the next level. If you want to be great, if you want to reach a level others will be measured by, you've got to be willing to work every single waking hour. You've got to be obsessed. You've got to be willing to get it done or die trying. Rest when you must. Recover when needed. But don't ever stop grinding. Never take your foot off the gas. Never stop. Never quit. You got to dedicate every single hour of every single day, of every single week, of every year for many years to reach greatness when you are consistently hammering on that project on that goal on that dream you will no longer be dreaming about success you'll be living it the thing that's different about people who win consistently across the course of their life is that we expect the wins to happen all the time they don't come as a surprise wins don't shock winners they aren't amazed when they got a win any more than Michael Jordan was amazed when he hit a game-winning shot. That's what he expected. That's what we focused on. That's what we acted to do. That's what we worked to do. And because of all those things, we expect to win every time. Zero exceptions. True winners, they never lose focus. They always focus on the goal. They always focus on the process. And they always focus on being the absolute best that they can. The greatest of all time, the Tom Brady's, the Michael Jordan's, the Kobe Bryant's of the world. They might celebrate hard, but they don't celebrate long. Come Monday, come the next morning, they're back at it. They're focused, they're undistracted, they're driven, they're enjoying their progress, they're enjoying their wins, but they're not over celebrating them. And that's the attitude you have to have toward a single victory if you want to make it a lifestyle and a lifetime of winning. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. You don't have time. You don't have support. You don't have the equipment or the gear. You're too busy and you're too tired or you're too sore or you're just plain not feeling it. Lies, lies, lies. You cannot let your impulses govern and rule your life. I just don't want you to make the same stupid mistakes over and over and over again and call it life. I don't want you to keep doing dumb stuff and say, my life is miserable. No, your life is not miserable. Your ability to edit, to make adjustments, to make corrections is messed up. If you don't like where you are right now, turn around and look at what you've done. You've built every single step to create this. No accidents. Just taking the easy road too many times, not getting up, not going for that extra rep, putting that extra mile in, the little inches of life that add up to be first place or forgotten. Consistency is having a goal, and when you wake up that day and you don't feel like it, you still do what you told yourself you was gonna do. It is the days you don't feel like doing it, but you look at your wife, you look at your kids, and you realize that I am where I am because of other people's sacrifice. I gotta get up and make it happen, even though I don't wanna get up and make it happen. You're gonna wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're gonna wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. When you master yourself, you put yourself in a position that a lot of people can't do what you do, and then you become rare, and diamonds are rare. That's why they cost so much. This has everything to do with pride. You got to take pride. I need you to give 120% and do it for the pride of who you are. Because life is going to give you back what you give it. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday, you might be strong. But by Wednesday, you're not intentional and deliberate. You 
are hoping that the best is gonna happen to you and the best never happens to you. You gotta decide that you're gonna do something and you gotta do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is gonna happen to you. If dreams were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. Some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. What does a $500,000 a year person do The $50,000 a year person doesn't do? He does everything he's supposed to in a little bit more. He works hard in a little bit more. He makes money a little bit more. He saves money a little bit more. There's no easy way to the top. If you want to win in this life, you got to do what you're supposed to and a little bit more and you can't ever stop at the finish line. You know what you got to do to hit a golf ball like me? You got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You go down, you hit a thousand golf balls. You hit so many golf balls that your hands starts bleeding. Then you run up to the clubhouse, you wash that blood off your hand, you slap a bandage on it, and you go down and you hit another thousand golf balls. Yeah, you'd love to hit a golf ball like me if it was easy. Well, nothing good comes easy. I don't care what's going on around you, because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you, and you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude, and you can control your mindset. You get one shot, you better make the kind of decisions that's going take you to the NBA. You better make the right decisions. That's going to take you to the NFL. It's one thing to dream about your destiny, but it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up, to write when you don't feel like writing that paper, to say no to that party, saying no to quit when you still got a hundred more shots to make, saying no when your body said stop, but you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You got to be about it. Almost everybody gets there. Almost every Everybody's over the hump. Almost everybody has it going. Almost is a way of life to almost everybody, but the winners, they do it. What do they do? They do whatever it takes to get the job done. They do it and do it and do it and do it until the job gets done. And then they talk about how great it is to have achieved something unique and how glad they are that they didn't quit like everybody else. And I'm telling you, you have not given yourself enough credit to say, I just need to get up a half hour early in my whole life for change. I just need to get up one hour early. I just need to work one hour longer. I need to stop hitting that snooze button. If you were to make that one change, that one sacrifice, you would stop dreaming and start living. What do you want in your marriage? What do you want in your health? What do you want financially? How much money do you want to make a year? What do you want to drive? How do you want to live? Stop just waking up like an accident. What do you want? And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. There's going to be things that go on that are out of your control. The worst thing you can do is let something that's out of your control control you. Get control of yourself. Get control of your emotions. Don't get angry. Don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. That's the way life works. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. I'm talking to you. You're going through a storm right now. And I want you to know that this too shall pass like every storm that has come to you. Every single storm, this too shall pass. Just because you fail don't make you a failure. And just because you lost don't make you a loser. Whatever you're going through right now, if you can just muster up enough strength to hold on and hold out. I don't care how long it takes you to finish school. Hold on. I don't care how long it takes you to pass that bar exam. Hold on and hold out. If you do not quit, if you do not give up, it's coming, baby. I want you to speak life into that thing. Whatever it is, you feel like, I can't fail another test. I can't go through another day like this. I can't handle it. Whatever your circumstances are, say with me, I can. I can get through this. I will. I will get through this. I must. You're not a product of your environment. You're not a product of your external storm. What you have or what you don't have, where you come from or what you don't come from. The traumas, the abuses, the good and the bad. None of that dictates, but it's what you will do in the moment. What's your response? What you do matters. As long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. As long as you're breathing, yes, you can. You have got to make a declaration that I am going to get through this. I am tougher than this. I'm bigger than this. I'm stronger than this. I will not surrender. 
because whatever challenge is in front of me, it pales in comparison to the power within me. You have got to take full responsibility of your life. I got myself here. I can get myself out and I am getting out. I am not going to be a volunteer victim. You will take full ownership. It's my fault. It's my problem. I'm coming up with the solution for it. It's my fault. It's my problem. It's my solution. I'm taking ownership. You got to increase your willpower because you're going to go through it. You got to look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? The dark? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you because I lived in the dark. I trained in the dark. I became this person in the dark. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. You take your pain and let your pain push you to another level. What you fast, what you ever thought you could do, what you ever thought you could be, what you ever thought you could have. You use your pain. You recycle it. I just need you to keep walking toward it. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this is going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. They make diamonds by one, putting it under pressure, two, putting it under extreme heat, and three, they cut it. When it finishes going through all of that, you cannot break it. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can't handle it. Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Find that reason to wake up every day and go get it. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got to go. But when you write your why down, what your why does for you is say, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. Your spouse is going to push you. Your child is going to push you. The need to get better is going to push you. Because you're closer than you're ever going to be, it's going to push you. Your goals are going to push you. Your dreams are going to push you. The opportunity of a lifetime that happens in this particular time frame is going to push you. It's going to drive you. You have to make a decision that I will learn from this thing. Every experience is my education. I have already made up my mind that I know I will fall down. I know that I will stumble, but I already see myself getting back up. Therefore, I'm never down. I'm either up or getting back up. I'm going to learn. You will never, ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain and embrace your pain. Your pain pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, but the end of the fight is going to come victory. I challenge you to never give up. You're going to be here one day. But you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place, as you rise above what you were, and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be, in the very act of standing up, in the very act of fighting on, you will become and you will remain unbroken. It will be painful. It will be discouraging. At times it will test you to your very core. It will not be easy. This is for those of you who are going through the fire. Those of you who are wondering how can I keep going like this? Some of you have been through so much that you should have lost your mind. It's all right to fail as long as you fail forward. It's all right, but I need you to have heart because there's some things you just can't get without perseverance. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you because every man, every woman, every boy, Every girl will go through a time where your faith will be tested. You will hit something. And when you do, you will have a choice. Many choose to turn around. They feel a little pain, then they run away. 
but there is a small number who decide that the pain is worth the price. They will do whatever is required to make it past this. I know it's hard and I know it may look hopeless, but if you just keep pushing forward, you'll see how strong you truly are. When things are going bad, there's going to be some good that will come from it. Mission got canceled, good, we can focus on another one. Didn't get promoted, good, more time to get better. Didn't get funded, good, we own more of the company. Didn't get the job you wanted, good, go out, gain more experience, build a better resume. Got injured, good, needed a break from training. Got beat, good, we learned. Unexpected problems, good, we have an opportunity to figure out a solution. That's it. When things are going bad, don't get all bummed out, don't get startled, don't get frustrated. No. Take that issue, take that setback, take that problem and turn it into something good. Go forward. If you can say the word good, it means you're still alive. It means you're still breathing. It means you've still got some fight left in you. So get up, dust off, reload, recalibrate, re-engage and go out on the attack. I got here not because I'm the strongest, not because I'm the fastest, not because I'm the best. I never stopped fighting. It got harder and it got harder and it seemed the further I climbed, the harder it got. But I didn't stop, I didn't quit. I just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. Don't let this world break you. You are stronger than what you are going through. I invested too much to quit. I made too many sacrifices to give up. We've come too far. We've been through too much. We've seen too much. We've had too many victories. We have seen defeat. We've looked defeat in the face and we've overcome it. We've come too far to give up now. We've come too far to be negative now. We've come too far to start overthinking now. So when life happens, I would just sit there and cry. I, I buck back. I buck back. I wish I could tell you it's gonna get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, the weight is gonna get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you gotta find something within. You gotta find something within, and that's gotta push you, and that's gotta elevate you, and that's gotta drive you, and that's gotta move you. And when you find out what your why is, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. The spirit of resiliency, the spirit of grit, it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. Overcoming is in your blood. Getting through adversity is in your blood. Your ancestors got through so much more. We will be all right. We need to focus on where we're going, not where we come from and what's happening. I just need you to keep walking toward it. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. It's an opportunity to prove what you're made of. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad motherfucker, you actually believe it. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, welcome to the big leagues. If you feel like you're under heat, praise God. If you feel like you're being pressured, praise God. But when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he's going to let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom. I challenge you to never give up. Never give up. You're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. What do you do when the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life, in the shifting seasons? You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed. Mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are. There are some times when things aren't going to go right and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that he can clobber you to the ground 
and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Setbacks will happen, and when they do... It's okay to cry, it's okay to go home, but eventually you have to get over it and move on. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. I challenge you to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you to start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled, and kick more ass because of every hardship you face. You need to make it a habit to start every f***ing day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. My back is up against this motherfucker every day, and I gotta go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It's hard to handle it. You got to fortify yourself and say, come on with it. I've got to step into it. Just find an excuse to win. Keep going. If you're going to be successful in this game, you got to have a dog within you. You got to know it's a dog fight, and you got to go get that fight. Life ain't going to be easy. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. You still got to go to work. You still got to compete against everybody in your industry. Life's still going to happen while you trying to blow up. I want to know what the f I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know from experience that the harder the task to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. These are the days that test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness, your character. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, when you'd rather die than send another email or take another phone call or talk to another human, you gotta get the job done. You gotta tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You gotta tell bankruptcy. You gotta tell divorce. You gotta tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. You have to understand that there's a journey that takes place in your career, in your life. Every transformation always gets worse before it gets better. It's supposed to be that way. The journey you're embarking on is not an easy path. It's not for the ill-hearted or the weak-natured. It's for the strong people. And before you embark on this journey, mentally, you have to prepare yourself for it. No one's going to get worse before it gets better. Throughout your journey, people are going to deny you. People are going to reject you. Your journey makes you want to cry. Your journey puts you sometime in dark places where you feel like nothing is going to do right for you. Nothing's going to be right. People are going to take you places that you've never been before through heartache, through pain, through so much shit to make you want to quit your journey.
When you embark this journey, you must know that it's going to go down before it comes up. But when it comes up, it's going to go so much higher than you've ever been. Sacrificing today for tomorrow's betterment. But if you didn't know that, you didn't prepare for that, you think something's wrong, maybe it's time to stop. No, it's time to move free and further. You have to be equipped mentally to endure this process. Knowing what you're about to go into is step one. Knowing it's an uphill battle, but a winnable one and one that's achievable. It's up to you to push past the pain. Because on the other side of pain is glory. It's rejoicing. It's happiness. It's winning. It's succeeding. You gotta understand, with no pain is no progress. You don't go through something that you won't get nothing. And you choose whether or not that journey is gonna hurt you or make you stronger. I remember so many times I wanted to quit. I wanted to turn around. I wanted to say, stop. I wanted to go back and go back to what I used to be. You gotta push through that shit. You gotta tell yourself that no matter what, no matter what gets in my way, I'ma keep going. I'ma keep moving. I'ma keep winning. I'ma keep surviving. It's everything that you want because you went through that pain of that journey that felt like you wanted to just knock you down and say, you know what? You can't do it. Understand that it's going to be trials and tribulation. They will have storms, but they will have sunshine after the rain. But that depends on you and how bad do you truly want it. Nothing in life will hold you back if you trust in yourself and you trust in the process. And at the end of this race, guys, you're going to be more capable. Through that effort, builds the character, the person you want to be at the end. Accept that. Pressure does most people in. The weight of what it feels like to want to be successful every single day, over and over and over, it's just too much pressure. People crack. You got to persevere. You must insist that this is going to happen. You got to get in there and keep fighting. You got to be constantly at it. Everybody got to develop some dog in them. You got to say, I'm going to hang in here now. I'm going to hang in here. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to stay with it no matter what. At the very end state, what really wins it isn't the potential of the person. It's the perseverance, the heartbeat of a person. That heart doesn't stop. The heart doesn't go nine to five and then shut down. It's always beating. Just like a true champion doesn't just exist in the arena, but exists everywhere else too. Those moments and inches that are won at the final hour that make or break a win or a loss aren't discovered there. They're discovered through thousands of hours in the training lab. When no one's watching, do you get up and run at five in the morning when it's pouring down rain? Is a person of character that values who the f they are. There's no half-ass here, half-ass there, and then when it matters, oh, I'll give it my all. It doesn't work that way. Everyone wants it, but somebody wants it more. Where does all the great sh that we have in our lives come from? It all comes from people who, in the face of massive adversity, decide that they're going to move forward regardless. They're going to make the thing that they want to happen, happen no matter what anybody says, no matter how many times they get laughed at, no matter how many times they get called crazy, no matter what, they are going to make this happen. We have the ability to make the choice to be the person who rises above the sh If you keep making the choice to take the things that happen to you and turn them into good, productive things, there is no way that you cannot be successful. None of us ever get through this life without heartache, without turmoil. We're all gonna fail at something. Everyone's failed at something. Life is a trial, and trials are never supposed to be easy. Life is hard. It's hard handling the tragedies of life. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it, and it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. It's hard. 
It is okay to be scared. It is okay to cry. But giving up should not be an option. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Because when you fail, you get up, and then you fail, and then you get up, and that keeps you going. That's how humans are strong. Failure is an option, but giving up is not. Find a way. If you believe and you have faith, and you can get knocked down and get back up again, and you believe in perseverance as a great human quality, you find your way. You gotta have that resiliency over and over again. You gotta make a commitment to keep stepping up to the plate and swinging for the fences. Every day, whenever you do what you do, swing for the fences. Understanding when you swing for the fences, sometimes you'll miss. Did you know Hank Aaron had twice as many strikeouts as he had home runs? But he kept swinging for the fences. Most times he missed. But when he hit it, he knocked it out the park. When it's your shot to do what you do, keep swinging and keep striving. Change is going to happen in your life. Setbacks are going to happen. But a setback is nothing but a setup for a comeback. The champions is not the potential, it's not the genetics. It's their perseverance to always show up, always willing to fail, because in failure, that's part of success. Success is not a marathon of life and just ups. Success is formulated through failures, through facing your fears, through falling down and getting back up. That's what creates the champion. There will be times when you will feel alone, when you'll feel deserted, when you'll feel weak and you'll doubt yourself, and other people will doubt you, and you ask yourself, am I crazy? Maybe I don't have what it takes. That's going to happen. But I'll tell you something. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to stop when you've come this far? Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are. You are. You're still alive. You're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room to grow and be better. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. You will be tested. And how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do. But still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great, we want to give this to you. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. They'll say, no, you don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop running toward your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. But when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe it'll happen. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might, with all your soul, with all your heart. You focus on this, and tomorrow will take care of itself. 
write down at least five reasons on why you won't give up, what's going to make you unstoppable, why you must be unreasonable, because logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one, that you are entitled to this. You're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. When you no longer focus on the obstacles, when you no longer care what people think or what they might say, when you no longer find the need to seek their approval, it's done. When the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you. When your life is getting hard and life is coming at you, you will panic and you will forget who the you are. Because in the worst of times, you are alone. You must get your f***ing self out of the f***ing sewer. No one's coming in that f***ing sewer to get you. It's dark, it's nasty, there's rats down there. It's your brain. You are the only person that can pull yourself out. Anything you focus your mind on, you can change. You don't like the way your life is going, you're the only one who can change it. You don't have to be an alcoholic. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be anything. You don't want to be if you ever decide to change your mind. And if you're having one of those dark days, it's okay. It's okay to feel that darkness. Embrace that darkness. I don't care who you are. I don't care what title you hold. I don't care what position you're in. I don't care what it looks like to people. This is not about people. This is about your life. Don't you quit. Don't give up. You have to get up. In the chaos is an opportunity. It is the chaos of the time that creates the conqueror in the man. Those exceptional people who are uncomfortable with the time that rise to the challenge because they refuse to allow the chaos around them to determine the conqueror within them. People who resist the toll to go down and stand fiercely in spite of opposition and say, I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. And move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want. Because you expect to get it. If you don't like where you're at, don't worry about it. It's just a step. If you don't like how you feel right now? Stop crying. It's just a step. Why are you up all night over a step? Why would you be weeping and worried over one step in the whole topography of your life? You can't judge your life by where you are in this moment. Do you not know that where you are will pass? What you're worried about will pass? Don't you understand that one day you're gonna look back and laugh at the thing that kept you up all night? Don't you understand that it's not nearly as major as you thought it was? You can live without your house. You can live without your car. You can live without your friend. You can live without your husband. You can live without your wife. There's more in you right now that's represented in your bank account. There's more in you right now that's being reflected by your life right now. Your life is not a true reflection of your potential. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to stand up. You can't talk out now. You can't fold now. It's not there to stop you. It's only there to challenge you. You want to grow through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. You're going through hell? Don't stop. Keep moving. You keep on swinging and the universe will yield to you. Energy is measured by motion. That's why the devil wants you to sit, shut up, and feel sorry for yourself. But try to blow the devil's mind this morning. Just when you think he got you down, you ought to shock him and press. Is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, your life is worth it. I tend to tell somebody, you got just enough strength left. You got just enough time left. You got just enough energy left. Don't run from the chaos. Stand still and let the chaos run from you.